Good morning and welcome. It is Saturday the 23rd of July. I am Flat Cap Callum and I'm hoping you are all very, very well. All right, coming up today, because it's taken me a while to get to do the video. I've had all the bets written out, had a non-runner, messed up a few things. We're back on it. Uh, but coming up today, I've got a double stake day. Um, I didn't think it was going to be and then I started putting the bets together. I, I, just, I was like, I'm, I'm happy with it. So... Monday, Tuesday, we went half stake. Thursday, there was no video. And tomorrow's going to be half stake at best, I think. It's a quiet Sunday. So, um, yeah, I've, I, I like what I've, I've, I've found. There's some decent prices about. Um, <clears throat> so it's only across 13 races, but six of them, we've got multiple horses. Um, so it's a volume day. There's eight bets, but nothing is too complicated, hopefully. Um, so for those of you who follow along, but if you are doing screenshots, eight bets are coming up today. Before we do that, we'll do the review of yesterday. And I'm going to do just a brief word on the golf um, because I don't want the video to go on forever. So yesterday, yesterday was a good day, but only if you were using Skybet. I did advise Skybet strongly yesterday. And today is a real mixed bag in terms of advisory. So each bet is a bit different. I'll come to that. But yesterday was a sky bet day and it, and it came out that way. Um, so it was a really decent profit for sky bet. It was a small loss for Coral or Betfred users. Uh, and it was only half stake back for everybody else. So it's, a, it's frustrating because if you, you want a good day, I, I, I'd like it to be for everybody. But the point here is that some, some days different bookmakers come out ahead. And I'm using the sky bet account for a reason because it is the best account to use for the types of bets I'm doing on the channel. Um, so what did we have yesterday? Um, start off with this bet, um, which was uh, a whole world of, of disappointment, really. Nothing nothing came back on that one. They were all fifth or sixth um, when we really wanted at least fourth. So so nothing back, uh, despite that Coley's Coco being massively punted in, nothing back on that. Um, then, the, yeah, the, the cross doubles were close. Fair Mac was placed. Percy's pride was sixth. Admiralty was sixth. Surprise package down the field. So close to getting something, but but nothing. Um, and then it was bet three that would, would made the difference. So Ebury uh, paid out uh, fourth place on Coral, Betfred and Sky. Then the horse of the day, the value horse of the day, uh, really, really delighted with that. Hastily, 66 to one. It was fifth. Paid out for everybody. So... Two consecutive videos where I've put up a horse of the day and uh, and gone in at a very, very nice price. So SP'd at 66s. The, the one before Jen's Dream did touch 66s. It was 40 in the morning. So, yeah, really happy with that. The surprise package let the bet down. Uh, Universal Focus snagged fourth, but that was only good enough for Sky. So for Sky, it was each way treble. For Coral Betfred, it was each way double. For everybody else, it was just the single on the lucky 15, the single over on Hastily. Um, the slight upside is if you'd done it with, with anyone else, you would have got best price guaranteed, whereas anybody on in the morning would have only got 50s. But yeah, it made a big difference uh, to profit and loss yesterday with Sky. So decent bet with Sky. And then uh, this bet four was a funny odd one. So this uh, Tiamara went off at three to one joint favourite in the end. Uh, and Miss Florentine went off nine to two. There was a couple of non-runners, but massively backed in, but didn't really perform with any great credit it was only the last leg harmony rose that drifted um 22 to 1 and it got done on a short head um which would have been a really nice little one to have on um so yeah that that's that's where we ended uh so it was a a, a profitable day but only on sky bet so some of these days um the channel wins some days individuals win there was two saturdays ago everybody won except the channel i think um so it does it does swings around about but overall it is better if you've got a Sky account. So uh, 20 on, 50, 28 back. So does put us a little bit ahead for the week, but I've, I'm swinging the dice on a double stake today. So, uh, yeah. So here we go. Let's get through it because um, there's eight bets coming up. Um, there's three lucky 15s and I've got three combination uh, bets. Um, it's how I've done it today. Um so starting off with, and I'll go for each bookmaker as well. It's quite important today um, to this one. So William Hill are on, on it for extra places today. Some days I, I would say to you they're the ones to not use in some bets. And, and the main two races, this 205 York, three o'clock Ascot, William Hill are the best place because they're giving you the seven places like Skybet, but they are also giving best price guaranteed. 
So William Hill are, are trumping uh, Sky on this one for best price guaranteed. A lot of other bookies are six on these races. Um, so I should say 205 York is six. Three o'clock is seven. So um, what we've got. Uh, e by Gum, 6-1. to one. Leodis Dream, 18s. Van Gogh in 28s. Going on to Documenting at 50s. Ropey Guess at 14s. Chief of Chiefs, 11s. 9 times 20p each way doubles. So it's the cross uh, doubles in there. 9 combinations. What I would say is, I know people will want to know what, what's my value horse of the day after the last uh, two days. I don't have a standout today. So I've got some bigger prices. Documenting, I think, is the biggest but I don't have a standout today. I don't have a, a Stormy Gen or a Hastily. There isn't one of those. And hopefully you'll appreciate I can't just pull out a 66 to 1 um, out my bum every day. Um, some days they're there. And it's been a while since I've seen a few like that and, and happened to pop up two, two in two videos. So helpful. So that is bet one. Um, bet two into a lucky 15. Um, Sky is number one preference here. William Hill is second preference. If you've got a Sky account, put it on with Sky. Second preference is William Hill for this bet. 205 York, Leo Dream 18s. 240 York, Abarama Gold 13 to 2. 3 o'clock Ascot, Ropey Guest 14s. 5 o'clock York, Let Her Loose 8 to 1. That's 20p each way, lucky 15. That's bet two. Swiftly on to bet three. This is a Sky Bet one. So if you've got the choice, put this on with Sky Bet. 205 York, Van Gerwen, 28. 3 o'clock Ascot, Chief of Chiefs, 11. The 417 at Newmarket, Mr. Marvelous, 12s. And the 5 o'clock at York, 3 platoon, 14 to 1. And that one's a lower stake, 16p each way, lucky 15. That is a 480 bet. You'll see there's some 20p lucky 15s and some 16s today. So they are deliberate in terms of my view of value and performance chance. So um, yeah, if you are doubling or halving or whatever, I would make sure you you know, you, you follow what I'm saying is what I would say. Um, so if you're doubling it, make it 32. If you're halving it, make it eight. Um, bet four, now this one, not Paddy Power or Sky. So place terms the same with most bookmakers except Paddy Power. And same as Sky, but Sky you won't get best price guaranteed on most of these races. So not Paddy Power or Sky is what I'm saying for bet four. So some of these I'm advising which one, and some of I'm advising which one not to. Not Paddy Power or Sky if you've got the option. Um, the 212 Newcastle, Anif 22s, hasn't run for a really long time, but I think it's worth chancing at that price. 503 Newcastle, Lion Face 17 to 2. The 508 Lingfield, be fair, 8 to 1. And in the 840, um, this is one of my preferred races of the day. There's some great handicaps, but the 840, outside of the obvious, is, is a race I really like for value. Um, so I've split split the stake here. So leg one is the first three on with Princess Anna Mail, 10p each way, lucky 15. And the second part is these three on with Magnifique, 10p each way. So two times 10p each way, lucky 15s different leg four on that one but all on the all weather that is bet four bet five okay your choices are you've got four equal bookmakers here so it's about shopping around for price if you can get it three six five paddy power coral or bet fred one of those four are the best for this bet and this is all at goran park um and um these are sort of chances at bigger prices um this one particularly is, 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 I was trying to get the video out early because I normally in Ireland, I'll, I'll pick a few of these out and I know they're going to come in suddenly. Um, and I think Rock Dandy's one of those today. So it was, it was 25s earlier and it's already gone in. And I think on the second bet, I've got it on, it's 12. So um, yeah, the price is coming in on that. But we've got here 255 uh, Zawir. We've had it, had it a few times. I'm giving it one last go, 28s. 330 uh, City Point, 28s. 510 Rock Dandy at 14s and 545 Navarosi 25s. Clearly, that is a big money return if uh, if we get some some stuff hitting off that one. That's a 16p each way, lucky 15. That's bet five. Bet six. This one is a William Hill if you've got it. So Hills on this one. I know some of you are, are true Hills customers and you lose out some days like yesterday. Today, hopefully, is a day for Hills to shine. Um, 
three o'clock. I did have Raising Sand in there, which is a non-runner. Um, I liked that, but but equally, I'm happy to go with documenting. So fifty to one documenting. Um, five ten Goran Park Rule Hill twelves. Five forty five Goran Park Star Official sixteens. Eight forty Lingfield Sir Cedric twenty eights. And you'll see this is my main bet for stakes. So I've done it as a twenty p each way lucky fifteen. But just to make it even, I've actually done 40p each way singles on all four. So the only single bets I've got on here are on these. Um, the, these middle two, they were they were bigger prices. But I still think they're just about worth a go for a single. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I liked them more about an hour ago. But um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're still good enough. So um, that's the main bet of the day for stake uh, is bet six. Okay. Whoa, here we go. Bet seven. Uh, the next combination bet. So what I've got here, this is, these are less obvious races. The five o'clock here at York, most bookies are three. Sky, it's one like they did yesterday, are five on 11 runners. If you get a non-run, it will go down for four. If it holds 11, it's a, it's a brilliant opportunity. It's still a good opportunity, 10 runners, four places. Um, but this makes this bet definitely better with Sky. Most bookies are four on this 840. But this one is where you're getting the advantage with Sky. Um, I would chance it with, with other bookmakers. Um, but it's, it, I mean, clearly five places is better than three. So I don't really have to explain that, do I? Five o'clock at York. We've got Letter Loose, Zurag and Three Platoon. Going on to the 840, Sir Cedric, Princess Animal and Magnifique. That's nine times 20p each way. Doubles on those ones. So that's another double combination bet. And finally... A more simple cross double in the two last race at Gorham Park. And this one, advisory, not Coral or Labrooks. Anyone else, I mean, Sky, won't, you won't get best price guaranteed. Most bookies are five places, but not Coral or Labrooks. Um, 510, Brawl Hill and Rock Dandy. The 545, Star Official and Navarosi. Four cross, 25p each way doubles. Two pounds you bet. That is bet. Eight. Um, oh, one thing I was going to say on hastily, um, in case anyone was wondering, because of the, the way because I put out volume sometimes, I don't have time to explain. And most of you know there was a whole bunch of hours of work that sits behind these selections without me really having explained or time to explain stuff. If you ever want to ask questions, I'll feel free to look at it. But just so people are aware, hastily, it, 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 you know that horse on face value it ran three times and finished down the field that's what most people will see about that horse um but if you look at the last race it ran it ran in a claimer at limerick and it ran against two other horses that were in that same race yesterday that it ran against them at limerick over a similar distance elothera and tysing yay and if you look at the weight swing between those two versus um hastily Basically, from a weight swing, um, I think Tai Singye, for instance, it was fourteen pounds better off for about six lengths. That makes it slightly better, roughly. So I roughly, I'd roughly work out um, a pound for half a length without going too much detail into it for for a, a, a flat race that sort of distance. Um, so in essence, what I looked at is Elothera and Tai Singye clearly a fancied horses in that race. Um, hastily I, I might make just slightly better chance to just purely based on that last race but yet hastily was looking at 50s in the morning and the other two were about eight to one and so sometimes you can just find these nuggets of form and you look through things and you just see and you think I don't think anyone's going to see that um, that's that's what I picked it but yeah so there's, there's stuff that's behind everything all right um, there we go so double steak it is what it is <laughs> Um, it's up to you whether you want to go for it or not. Um, we haven't always had the best of luck when we've we've gone for double stakes. Um, and uh, clearly some of the prices we're playing with today, it could go very badly, very quickly. So it is up to you. These are take it or leave it bets. This is, I've put £40 of my money um, on it for my, for my channel bets. Um, outside of the channel, I shall be doing lots more than that. But um, as, as far as the channel goes, I'm happy to go double stake and, and, and risk it today. Um, so we will see how we go. Um, and then as far as the golf, yeah, very quickly on the golf, there's a lot of things going well on the golf. We've got some nice um, situations with some of the single bets um, and also with the with the main lucky 15. So we need a bit of improvement for a couple. Um, 
but yeah, it, it's it's in a nice place, but there's still more, nearly two days of golf to play, so a lot can can carry on and go wrong. Um, but of the fifteen players we had an interest in, we've still got thirteen. We only had two miss the cut, and those two are in the same combination bet. So so it feels like there's no great loss so far. So um, yeah, we'll we'll see see how we go on we'll a proper golf um, roundup tomorrow. All right, I'll leave the end of this longest video ever. And uh, I will see you in the morning. Good luck today if you're, if you're going to do these bets. Um, and uh, yeah, I always feel the pressure when I do a double stake. I want it to go well. Because um, if it doesn't go well, losing 30, 40 pound doesn't feel very good. Particularly when on an average day, that you know, when it's bad, you lose 20. So it, it feels bad when we lose. But likewise, there's an opportunity to go after, I think, in terms of the value. And that's what I've done Um and in the long run, I'm confident with the way I make selections and the way that I put the bets together. Um, but on the majority of days, we do lose. That is the risk with the strategy. All right. Enjoy your day. I'll see you in the morning where it will be a quiet bet day. Definitely, I think. Thank you very much. Cheerio.